Welcome to the 555 timer lecture. Um, the 555 timer is a, a little 8-pin IC and it's capable of doing a lot of timing functions and it's all based on RC uh, curves, time, uh, charging and discharging curves of the capacitor. They're exponential and they're well known for charge and discharge and since they're uh, calculating, we could calculate based on those curves, we could use this as a very precise or semi-precise timing device. Here is the resistor capacitor uh, charge and discharge chart. Um, what we go by here is RC, one time constant. So time constant would be resistance times capacitance. And the charge increases by 63.2% each time constant. So the first time constant we're going to go from 0 to 63.2 percent charged. And every time constant after that we're going to go up by another 63.2 percent of the remaining. So the second time constant is going to be 86.5, 95, 98, and we start approaching at 100 percent. As we discharge we're going to start at 100 or close to it and we're going to go down to 36.8 percent, 13.5 percent, 5 percent, 2 percent and close close to zero. Um, we're going to consider that a capacitor is fully charged in five time constants. There are two basic configurations of the 555 timer. Even though there's many, many different functions this device could do, the two basic ones we're going to look at is a monostable or one shot. It, when it's triggered with pin 2, based on this resistor and capacitor, it is going to make a single pulse. It's called a retriggerable pulse that we could retrigger it many, many times. And once we trigger it, we release it, and it will time out and make a time pulse based on this formula. Here's the inside uh, workings of a 555 timer in the monostable. The monostable you can recognize because it's going to have one external resistor and one capacitor. So it's going to charge this capacitor through this resistor. So this RC time constant is going to allow us to uh, charge and, and discharge necessarily to be between these two points here. We have comparators. There's three equal resistors, voltage divider, and what we're going to do is we're going to go between two-thirds and one-third of VCC. And this is a one one shot, so it's only going to do it one time. This is the typical uh, capacitor charge curve, and once it hits the the two third point, it is going to change the position of these comparators, and it's going to flip this latch in order to reset. So, based on these two sizes, we trigger it triggered here and it is going to make a time pulse based on that RC circuit based on the charge pattern of our capacitor. Here's the end of the pulse uh, diagram of the 555 monostable. We're going to, once we charge this, which we've done already, it's going to discharge once it hits this two-thirds point. Okay, we're going to discharge this capacitor through our transistor to ground and it is going to turn that device off and it is going to go down to the one-third position and wait for it to be re-triggered. Here's a schematic for the A-stable. The A-stable uh, timer will put out a continuous pulse at a frequency and pulse width that we designed based on these two resistors and this capacitor. And you can tell this is the A stable because we have two resistors and one capacitor. 
Here is a diagram of the A-stable timer with the internal components inside this box and the external components which we add. We have two <coughs> resistors and one capacitor and they're going to charge off this 9 volts until it gets up to two-thirds. Okay, so we again we have our three internal voltage divider on. So we have one-third two-thirds and the last and what we're going to do is we're going to go between one-third and two-thirds three volts and six volts so what we're going to do is we're going to charge from one-third to two-thirds and then we're going to discharge two-thirds to one-third and charge and discharge and based on this uh, capacitor curves we're going to get a square wave output. Here's a diagram of our A stable 555 timer. Once it's completely charged it is going to go up to the two-thirds. This comparator is going to change our RS latch it'll change and it'll turn on this transistor and we're going to Char discharge through this transistor back to ground. So we're, we go up to two-thirds. We're going to switch this transistor on. It's going to drain the capacitor. It's going to go back down, switch it, and turn the transistor off, and it's going to recharge and discharge back through this cycle. And if you notice here, we're going to charge through two resistors and we're going to discharge through just one of the resistors and that's going to set up our our pulse width and uh, duty cycle of our output.